Hi, uh, I'm Connor McClendon. I uh, ran out of chalk. But welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? This week, I talked to NHS senior Jordan Kerr and NHS junior Galen Windsor about playing for the tennis team. Uh, so my first question for you is, what is it like being a part of a team that doesn't have any seniors? Um, it's very interesting. In fact, we only have two juniors this year, as myself and Matt Skrzynski. Um, and compared to last year, we actually had about like half of our team was, was seniors. But I'm, I'm hopeful about it because it means that next year we'll have the same same varsity players. and So we'll be able to build this year. And I'm, I'm hoping for a really good season next year if, if this year isn't really good. Uh, and you also got a new coach this year. So what has that transition been like? Um, it's been really good. Uh, he's he's really he's a, an improvement to be honest, and um, he's he's been really working on our strategy um, and on uh, building team chemistry instead of focusing on individual players, which was kind of our our coach's focus last year. And I think that's a big improvement for this year. This is your senior year, uh, so what are you going to miss most about playing high school tennis? A lot of the people on the team, we've all been on it for four years. We have I think nine seniors this year, so I'll definitely miss that team atmosphere like we all know each other really well we've been playing for a long time so I'll definitely miss that and how do you feel about the team's overall start to the season you guys are three and one now I'm really happy with it I was actually worried because we lost a few key players including our first singles player um, so I don't really know what I was expecting but now we're three and one so I'm really happy with that so high school tennis there's no referees it's you making the calls is that ever challenging Occasionally we play, you know, some uh, s some players with some with bad sportsmanship, and so that does kind of become an issue, especially if it's like a really close match and you make a you you accidentally make a bad call, and that you know ends up being a deciding factor in who wins. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a shot was in or out, so you just kind of have to call it and be confident with it. And sometimes the other person will ask, like, "Are you sure that was out?" So that can be a little bit difficult. And finally, what are you looking to improve on this season? In terms of your own skills, um, honestly, my mental game is my is my my, my main uh, weakness. Uh, I often, you know, get uh, frustrated in games pretty easily. Um, definitely consistency. I sometimes get too excited if I get an easy shot and then hit it out or into the net. So I want to keep that up. And also, I just I tend to think too hard about what I'm doing and then mess up from that. So I just need to clear my head and just play. All right, great. Thank you so much for being on Hamped Up. In other sports news, the softball team outscored opponents 25-1 to through their first two games of the season, and the baseball team won their home opener against Longmeadow 10-5. to The boys lacrosse team is battling for the top spot in the Valley League, and junior Abby Baldwin scored her 100th career goal for the girls lacrosse team in the team's 18 to nothing win over Munson last Friday. The girls track team is 2-0 and beat Ludlow on Monday, and the boys track team is 0-1. The girls' ultimate frisbee team crushed the Amherst JV team 15 to 1 on Tuesday. And finally, the boys' ultimate team is 0 and 2, and senior James Berger suffered a serious injury in the team's loss to Four Rivers on Wednesday.